canceled a trip to Georgia this morning after the suicide bomb assassination of that country's president by separatist rebels from the Abkhazia region. Continued fighting in the Abkhazia and South Ossetia regions has hindered Georgia's hopes of integration into Western institutions. Industry baron Kambayne Nikolaj seized power today in a bloodless coup, installing himself in the presidential palace behind a wall of political and military support. The charismatic billionaire plans on holding elections within a matter of days to affirm his seat of power and promises a pristine and profitable relationship with America and the West. Bringing high-speed fiber optic connectivity to areas of Eastern Europe that less than a decade past didn't have telephones. The technological leap is due largely to the efforts of rising information industries in the Netherlands, and especially Georgia, where President... The vice president called his visit to Georgia an honor and called Georgian President Kumbain Nikoladze a man with his eyes on the future. Sam Fisher. I can't believe you beat me here. I like to be early. Hello, Colonel. You can use my name. The room's safe. Lambert. Good to see you again. I trust NSA orientation is going well? Well enough. Everybody's been real coy about what exactly I'm allowed to know. It's the nature of the agency. We don't let any one person know everything, which means we've all got to work together. Even though I'll be out there alone. You'll be transmitting to us in more ways than you can imagine. And we'll be online through your earpiece and opsat. And that's how we're handling training. Yep. Sorry to make you run the course. I know you've been taking care of yourself. I haven't been in the field in years. Sure. But tradecraft is something you don't forget. It's like riding a bike. Or wearing high heels. <laughs> be careful, Fisher. Everything we say is being monitored. You know how nervous the brass is about exercising the fifth freedom. I'll be good. Be better than good. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative. The role aggressive intelligence operations will play in NSA's future will depend largely on your performance. I'll see you on the far side of the course. Have you started yet? Fisher! Holy Christmas, you're at the end. Phenomenal work. Let's move on. It's gotta be him. Yep. Sam Fisher, let me introduce you to Vernon Wilkes Jr. Hello. Hey, I've heard crazy things about your work. I hope you don't mind. I told him some of your stories from Kuwait. We're all friends here. Right on. Junior Wilkes is a longtime NSA employee. He'll be your wheels, wings, and weapons. He coordinates transportation and equipment. Great. For sure. Man, you must be itching to get back out in the field, huh? It's all I'm good at. Well, it's all we need. Welcome to the NSA. I'm sure things are going to come together famously. Third Echelon is a brand new initiative, and we're going to have a lot to prove. Right. The two of you will be Third Echelon's first team on the ground. Be ready for it, and do us proud. Welcome to the NSA. We touch down in Georgia in 15. I'm already done. Lambert? Hey, Irving, do you read me? Tell her I read her. He reads you. Good. You ready to get to work? I'd feel better if I knew what was going on. You know what you need to. The CIA lost a mole inside Georgian President Combein Nikoladze's cabinet. Her name is Alice Madison. They sent in Agent William Robert Blaustein to find her and lost him too. Are we working with the CIA's cooperation? Blaustein is outfitted with subdermals just like yours. That'll be your best lead to find him. You didn't answer my question. We'll tell you what you need to know. 
You're not out there alone, Fisher. Through me, you're attached to a dozen of the best NSA minds we have. There are political complexities with Georgia you'd need a week to understand. I've just about memorized the speech language. Well, start believing it. This is Third Echelon's maiden voyage, and we need it to go smooth as butter. You're about to touch down in Georgia. Get ready. Fisher, the sun's down. Time to go to work. Finding Agent Blaustein is our first priority. To locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my way. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. We don't have Washington's backing if this turns into an incident. Details on your offset. Don't tell me. Gergen and Zay is inside there. Sam, Grim's daughter here. I say jump. Don't ask how high, just do it. <laughs> Go there now. Damn, sorry about that. Get back into the hall and go to the stairwell at the far end. Make it fast, you've only got a few seconds. The contact is in this room. Let's hope to God he's still alive. You're gonna say. Yeah. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna get you out of here. Don't bother. I'm as good as dead. You're looking for Blaustein and Madison. Madison was deep into Nicolazzi's cabinet. She was onto something big. Blaustein must have figured it out. How do I find her? Blaustein's black box, tracking the relay for his subdermals. It's stashed in his safe house just east of Morevi Square. Lambert, do we have resources to evac this guy? I said don't bother. Whatever Madison found, it's big. She kept saying proof would mean war. I think Nicolas wanted. They're gonna say check out. Leave the corpse for the fire. He has to explain to his family. We've got a safe exit on the west side of the room. Take it. That was pretty tight. Still breathing? Doing my best. Good. Blaustein's black box is your next objective. It's running standard agency trade craft. We'll find the box behind a fake bookshelf or roll panel. Would Green go on? Because those are my orders. I speak to Vyacheslav Grinko or nobody. As Grinko, yes, sir. This is Kedeman. We finished searching the American's apartment. There is nothing else there. It's five more bolts, two cameras, and some electronics we can't ID. They are already on their way to the ministry. Of course. Thank you, sir. Did you check under the bed? Yes, I'm telling you. There's nothing else here. What's the news? Blaustein's heart stopped beating 43 hours ago. Any reason the CIA wouldn't know about this? Nope. Nice of them to share. The subdermal went offline six hours after he died. The last active position was in a police station a few blocks away. Check your ops hat. Fisher, I'm rescinding my street level restriction. We've been monitoring the Tbilisi police radio. These cops are as crooked as a Virginia fence. They're not going to want any more international attention than we do. Every road is open to you. Do what you got to do to find those missing spooks. One false move and you're dead. I need information. Um, okay. I'm looking for two Americans. Probably dead. I... Gringo will kill me. Duh. Where are they? Nearby. The morgue. They're dead. I helped the mortician find the microchips under their scalps. The subdermals. Yeah. Please don't hurt me. That's all I know. Duh. I swear, that's all I know. <laughs>
I've got agents Blaustein and Madison. Rest in peace. Somebody cut out their subdermals. Where do we go from here? We follow the subdermals if we can. Hmm. There's a security camera here. Good thinking. We'll track the subdermals from the video archives. The station surveillance room is on the top floor. Great work, Fisher. We're scanning the videotapes now. There. That's our guy. We got him red-handed. Can you run his face through Echelon? Already on it. Hey, check it out. A license plate. 84KP214. Fantastic. Fisher, we got what we need. Rendezvous with Wilkes, your work here is done. We'll get back to you once we've sifted this intel. steady rise in Georgia's economy. Once central to the former Soviet Union's development and manufacture of weapons, Georgia has recently resurfaced as a potential player in the world military industry, with active contracts in Russia, Turkey, Germany, and even has stated the need, especially in these times, for a reliable source of oil in the Middle East. Commerce Secretary Moore, on a visit to Azerbaijan this morning, noted the tiny nation's enormous potential for oil, calling on American investors to provide the necessary funds for tapping the reserves. In many ways, a leader from a bygone era. His beliefs are very firmly founded in Georgian orthodoxy. His political standings more in line with the early 20th century. Would you fault him then as a politician? No, no, not at all. Kumbay Nikolaitz is all politician. He's done wonders for the Georgian economy. A brilliant tactician. It's more a question of ethics. And ethically speaking? Well... Echelon have a positive idea on your target for the board of security cameras. A guy named Yashislav Bing. How do I find him? By his license plate. And if he's not with his car? Then his driver will be. Grab him and make him talk. Don't be afraid to use force. Who? Me? Grim's daughter just pulled up the schematics on the Ministry. They've got a laser security grid online in the courtyard. So I stay out of the courtyard. Don't let them trigger any alarms at all. We still don't have any official approval from the Joint Chiefs for this operation. So one slip up and it's mission over. to ask you some questions, but I think you're lying. I'll do this. I... Who do you work for? Vyacheslav Drinko. Tell me about him. He used to be Spetsnaz. Now he's mercenary. He works for President Nikolaus. Where do I find Rinko? He's meeting Mass in the elevator by the courtyard. Who's Mass? Philippe Mas, some computer guy. He has access to Nikolaitz's office. What's this meeting about? I don't know. I swear, it's gotta be something bad if Nikolaitz is willing to see Grinko face to face. I need you to understand. We never talked. I understand. Good. Convince me we never talked. If anybody finds out, Grinko will murder me. And you're frightened of Grinko. God, yes! I want to hear what Grinko and Mass talk about in that elevator. I'll need to deactivate the courtyard laser grid to get in position. Then do it. I need a colonel down here. We're trying to get through a retinal scanner. I passed Colonel Kibiashvili on my patrol. Want me to send him down? God, no. I hate this guy. We'll find somebody else with the lamp. A 
I thought the kitchen was closed. It's a special order for Colonel Kabayashvili. Ah, excellent. <laughs> May I? Please. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. You've got an incoming Colonel, Fisher. Make the most of him. You'll need him conscious and cooperative if you want to unlock the retinal scanner sealing the door to the courtyard. That's detailed intelligence. Knowing everything is my job. Glass elevators in motion. Make with the laser, Mike Fisher. It's mission critical that we hear what Grinko and Mass say before they reach the top. Savages. Why did you rip it out with pliers? We had some difficulty with blocking ship. You can see fibers of muscle tissue still attached. Nasty. Nasty. You're in the wrong line of work to avoid getting gore on your hands. Whatever Nikolaj does in Azerbaijan is his own conscience's burden. You are just a tool? You're a tool. I'm the technology. I'm the cleanup man. All the blood's on yours and Nikolaj's hands. I'm clean. And it is? It's what? Clean. Azerbaijan? Yeah, man. The operation's goddamn immaculate. Except for the files, Nikolaj insists on keeping on his own machine. You need to talk about... Sounds like we found the subdermal. I get nervous when the bad guys start making blood jokes. That conversation's going straight to the Joint Chiefs, and we're gonna need more. Nikolaj's computer. You guessed it. Get inside his office and access that machine. Alarms aren't mission critical anymore. We're moving into Fifth Freedom territory. What do you have? Bad things. Keep transmitting. We need to see how far this goes. What's going on? Corpses, refugee camps. They've had commandos at work in Azerbaijan for weeks. How the hell did we miss this? Keep transmitting. Alert! All men to full alert! We have an intruder in Nikolaj's office! Wake up, you bastards! I want troops in there now! Drink or sir. I've got three men about to breach Nikolaj's office. in there, man. Lambert's flipping out big time. What's he saying? That we're going to war. Georgian special forces have taken hold of villages scattered throughout Azerbaijan. 
Incredibly, Combain Nagolads appears to have been able to move thousands of troops across the border over a course of weeks, completely hidden from both local and international authorities through a high-tech... Number of Azerbaijani casualties are unknown, but early estimates number in the high... The freedom-loving people of the world cannot stand idly by and allow an act of such staggering inhumanity and scale. In their third day of fighting, U.S.-led NATO troops took three more Azerbaijani villages occupied by Georgian special forces. U.S. troops met only light resistance and suffered minimal casualties. The Georgian commando cells are becoming increasingly hard to locate as military intelligence suffers repeated... Kumbain Nikolads has vanished, along with his top military advisors. Speculation points to Nikolads' fear of a war crimes tribunal as motivation... A two-minute webcast from locations unknown, Georgian President Kumbain Nikolads called America and its allies an army of scarecrows, declaring them helpless to defend themselves or their homeland. The precise nature of Nikolaz's threat, expert spear, could make itself known within... Fisher, you've uploaded your mission objectives. Grim's daughter says the rig's encryption protocols are bulletproof. So we're gonna have to let one of Nikolaz's geeks log on before we get a chance at any intelligence. Why would they be holding onto this rig? It's not Nikolaz's smartest play. That's what got our attention. Nikolaz is sacrificing several cells to hold on to it. So whatever's coming over the network must be critical. Mission objectives on your offset. Visual on the hostile forces. We're blowing the bridge immediately. Repeat. Bad news, Fisher. Something got the military's attention. Oh boy. Your rig just got bumped into the single digits on NATO's strike list. Write yourself a technician and get that data. Time just got scarce. How much longer is this gonna take? Your daughter's on the line. Just running the encryption. Black hell! What's up, Grim? The data you glommed off the rig. There's no way the Georgians could have gotten this much intel without a man inside the CIA. Fisher, you're up. Dad? Sarah. Hi. Where are you? On my way home. I thought you were gonna call last week. Something came up. I'm sorry. That's all right. Were you in Georgia? Honey, you know I can't. That. Yeah, I know. 
I was just watching it on TV. Oh. Sarah. Sarah! Anybody have a line back to third echelon? I'm here, Fisher. What the hell's going on? Nikolaj's just declared war on the U.S. What? The Georgians hit our communications, transportation, power grids. We still don't know how extensive the damage is. What's our defense? What are we doing? What do we have? Nikolaj's caught us with our pants down. All we've got is the laptop you pulled off the oil rig. My daughter. I know, I know. I I've got people heading over there. This whole country's a mess. I need to see Sarah. You know what you need to do. We're helpless until we find Nikolads. You're heading for the CIA. Your mission just became critical. Failure at the Red Bear Army Community Hospital in Mississippi resulted in 17 deaths and over 30 injuries. Both county electricity and backup generators were destroyed, leaving military train traveling to Norfolk, Virginia, collided with a commuter rail line after an apparent failure of its automated routing system. U.S. military has not released the contents of the train's cargo, though federal authorities have evacuated a 20-mile radius surrounding the wreckage. Though no official death toll has been given, initial reports indicate the deaths of over 40 enlisted men. Potential civilian casualties are believed to be much lower. Newspapers talking about cyber terrorism, an information crisis, information warfare. Call it what you will, but realize that no American is safe until we mobilize our army. Rescue workers, their information grid entirely disabled, were unable to respond to the crash for nearly an hour. Injuries became fatalities as... To Combain Nicolades, the Georgian president still in hiding. Though his first wave of cyber terrorism focused on military targets, intelligence proposes that a large-scale civilian target could just as easily... We have faced terror before and triumphed. I promise here to the American people that we will triumph again. Earth is too small a place for the perpetrators of these acts to hide. The United States and her allies will enact a justice that is swift, true, and absolute. Time to get to work, Fisher. Let me reiterate. We cannot afford any casualties. NSA doesn't operate in the U.S. We don't spy on other agencies. I'm not here. That's right. You've lost existence privileges until the mission's over. You've synced a timer on your offset to the cause of the ventilation system fans. You'll have a limited window of opportunity to use it for insertion. got word from our man inside. He says your F-2000's in place. You can retrieve it in the storage room behind the generator backup. Good. I'd be ignorant not to arm you, but keep it holstered. One agency fatality means the mission's over. Within sight of the server. Red Dot is standing by. She'll be ready to trace the leak as soon as you can get us access. All right, Lambert. We're in. Good. Grim? I'm inside. Just there. The leak is a low security PC registered to one Mitchell Doherty. Great. Doherty's PC is your new objective, Fisher. I'll upload the details to your OPSAT. I just sent you Doherty's file. He's in information retrieval, Office 508. What do I do with Doherty? Stay out of his way for now. We'll get back to you when we find more on him. We found traces of the media in a secure data forwarding service in Holland. Another in Bangkok, free in Canada. 
Any order? Nope. Take it back. Turn up the volume. The foolish avarice and arrogance of a nation that still believes there is such a thing as a world superpower. Take it back to beliefs? What, the chainsaw? Of a nation that still believes there is... No, it's like a moaning in the background. That still believes... Great work, Fisher. How are we doing, Grim? Working on it. Very clever back door. Looks like Philip Mass's work. Bouncing to a server. Surf Kalina underscore VA, which is the Kalina Tech building in... Oh, black hell, somebody spotted me. Place shut down. We'll call back. Fisher, we're gonna need you to bag Doherty. What happened with Grim's daughter? We'll worry about that. You worry about Doherty. Wait for him to take a smoke break. It'll make grabbing him easier. Details on your offset. Junior Wilkes is in position for extraction. He's with Special Agent Baxter, an interrogations expert. They've got a disappearance truck parked in the back. Got another complication for you. Some CIA security dick is chatting up Junior Wilkes and Baxter. How are they spotted? They weren't hiding. NSA presence on Langley is completely legit. Hmm. The only problem is me and Dorothy. Right. A SIGINT ninja with an unconscious bureaucrat on his shoulder is less than Coke setting. So don't let him see you. God, I thought he would never go away. This our friend? That's the man. Pleased to meet you. And that must be Darty. He's all yours. We're not going anywhere until you give me Darty. Did Lambert tell you about Sarah? No. She's fine. The blackout spooked her, but she's completely all right. Ah. Don't get too emotional. Let's get out of here. Thanks, Wilkes. on the internet at 3 o'clock this morning. My declaration of war against the United States of America and its allies. Until every last foreign soldier has left Georgia, this war will continue on American soil and around the world, claiming the lives of the aggressors. The scales of power have been newly balanced, and we will no longer accept the tyranny of the United States. Blame the U.S. media for their part in spreading Combain Nikoladze's message. Ironic counterpoint to the situation at home, U.S. soldiers in Georgia and Azerbaijan have spent their fifth night without combat. Though tensions remain high, military intelligence has been unable to locate any remaining Georgian commando. Have dramatically increased their efforts to find Combain Nikoladze. U.S. intelligence is combing a constantly expanding search radius extending from Georgia. Each new country another possible secret alliance with the... Because what we have here is a situation where further airstrikes just won't do any good. Nikolaitz Army, if that's what you want to call it, is a bunch of... As mourning relatives prepare funeral services, America's law enforcement and military forces prepare for the unknown waiting for Combain Nikoladze's next move. So your mission is a man named Ivan. When Grim's daughter got made in Kalina Tech service, Nikoladze personally has got spoken to the confiscation of all evidence of their presence, including Ivan and his comrades. Who's Ivan? One of Nikoladze's geeks, a program. For killing their own men. It's all evidence. Let's pray you find him first. Details on your offside. This is as close as we get. Are you sure you're cool with the details? This last minute stuff bugged me out. I'll figure that. Well, be careful. I've already got him up.
West wing of deep water is clear. Moving on to sea. How many encryption keys did you retrieve? This is our seventh. Are you sure he's dead? Come on! You can see his brain. Of course he's dead. What about this encryption thing? The key? Yes, the encryption key. I got it! It's destroyed! Let's move on! mercenary programmers alive on the third floor. They're trapped behind a cluster of wall mines. You think they might have encryption keys? It's worth checking. I need an encryption key. We don't have any. Why should I believe you? There is a bomb. What? The Spitznaz planted it to destroy the data archives. But they put it right next to the gas pipes. It will take out this whole floor. How do I get there? You will need the keypad code for the door. I think it's 33575. Five. Group check the building specs. That big story about gas pipes holds up. I'm on my way. Make it fast. You don't have a lot of time. want to die here. Are you alive? Who? No. It hurts. Please, take me to the infirmary. Thank you. Who are you? Do you have an encryption key? They took it. Destroyed it. They've gone mad. I don't know... I need to find a man named Ivan. He's locked himself behind the building's fire doors. Then... he must be on the fifth floor. That helps. Thanks. So tired. Bullet, do you read me? Bullet, I think I found something useful. A computer with a window that says, Fire Emergency System. Bullet, are you there?
Good work, Fisher. Opening those fire doors cleared your path to Ivy, and it did the same thing for the Russians. You better make damn sure you get to him first. Update on your situation. To cover our asses politically, we clued in the FBI, and we're gonna have to leave Ivan for them. So what am I doing here? Ivan's a technicality. All we need to trace Nikolaj's is his encryption key. Get that, and we're golden. Who are you talking to? Who's on that phone? Please, don't. Tell me who! Here! I don't want the damn phone. I want you to... Who is that? Are you Ivan? I... yes. You are American? You are police? Yes and no. The police are on their way. Until they get here, I'm the only friend you've got, and I'm not a very good one. We have to leave. We have to hurry. They'll find us soon. It's not my job. I'm here for your encryption key. That wasn't the deal. The deal still stands. The feds will get you out of here alive, but first you have to give me the key. That wasn't the deal I made with the woman on the phone. Listen, do I come to your job and tell you how to murder civilians? What? No. So don't come to my job and tell me how to do mine. Feds are on their way or here already. You're gonna be fine. You can give me the key or I can take it. That wasn't the deal. You're working from a very limited phrase book. Listen, just give me the key. I'm tired and I hate making people scream. It gets me down. Here. Thanks. And until the feds get here, Find a better hiding place. God damn it! Fisher, you're gonna like this. It makes me nervous when you say that. The Russians are all over the top floor. They're gonna have to do some cleaning before the Osprey can safely touch down for extraction. Are you all right? Is that a joke? I'm sorry. Turn it. You're headed for Myanmar. The mission's not over. What about Wilkes? We're scrambling for a replacement. We might have a runner in Japan we could borrow, a woman named Cohen. What's in Myanmar? Nicolads. We used the Kalinatek data to pinpoint him at the Chinese embassy in Rangoon. Chinese support for the Georgians? The political situation isn't good. If they are backing Nicolads, you better find rock-solid proof. I don't want to go into World War III without a good reason. You've got some time before you reach Rangoon. You want me to patch a secure phone line so you can talk to Sarah? No. Disaster was narrowly averted at the Pickett Gap Water Treatment Plant in Tennessee. Plant management attribute the malfunction to a remote viral attack, possibly the latest act of terror in the Georgian information crisis. Still have no leads in the search for Combane Nicolades. 
NATO and charity groups working in Azerbaijan continue to uncover the corpses left from what was only the beginning of the Georgian president's campaign of high-tech terror. If not for the swift intervention of plant employees, hundreds or even thousands could have become life-threateningly ill from contaminated water. They say we're safe and all right, but then they tell us to boil our water. Seeing the disaster averted at Pickett Gap, a possible turning point in the Georgian information crisis, marking the first time American authorities were able to recognize and overcome one of Nikolaidze's acts of terror. Described early diplomatic negotiations with China a mixture of silence and antagonism. The Chinese claim that the U.S. are using suspicions of Georgian support as an unfounded excuse to inspect Chinese weapon stores and have so far refused cooperation. If possible, lending an even greater urgency to the search for Kumbain Nikolaids. Your contact is in place. Our man in Burma or Myanmar. Whatever. Where do I find him? A rooftop a few blocks from the embassy. Says he's under a large red sign. Respond to the phrase, a bright cold day in April. We've updated your opsat. To be clear, if you kill anybody, this mission's over. You slip up on this one. I'll find a fallout shelter and learn some prayers. I'm glad you understand. Be good. Okay, pal. We're here. This is as close as we can safely get in a vehicle. I can't overemphasize how sensitive this mission is. You can't have a single casualty. Shouldn't be a problem. Lambert will give you a position for our contact as you get closer. He's had to stay mobile to avoid detection. I'll find you when the job's done. Good luck. And my condolences for Lieutenant Wilkes. I understand he was a good man. I'll find you when the job's done. I do hope we'll get along. Your profile at the fort said you wouldn't have trouble working with a woman. It doesn't worry me. Don't bring up Wilkes again. Uh, sure. Sure. Good luck. It's a bright, cold day in April. Good, good. Now take this, okay? You're late, but you're here. Okay, we need to do this quickly. Go ahead. That map will show you the general's office in the courtyard. I thought it was the ambassador's office. It was, but some Chinese general has been using it. You can see for yourself. You get into the embassy grounds through the rear service entrance. Is there a gate? Yes, but a delivery truck will be pulling through shortly. You can sneak in past the truck, no problem. But you only have one chance at it. Solid work. I'm very good at my job. Okay, bye-bye. Word of caution, Fisher. That truck's going to be your only chance to get inside the embassy. Don't blow it. Is there something going on I don't know about? All you need to know is this. If you do find Nikolaids in there, be ready to scramble. One wrong step could mean war. If anybody in the embassy triggers an alarm, we're pulling you out. The mission's over. Give me three more days. The devices can be armed in one and placed the next. Of course we are, but you know the details. We need to strike together, or we may as well not strike at all. Nicolas, listen to me, because you will reveal us. That's ridiculous. How could they listen? That's paranoia, but fine, fine. No, fine. We will have a safe conversation. I will pull you back from my car. Good Lord, Fisher. That's General Kong Ferran. Good Lord. Who's that? He was the chairman of China's Central Military Commission until 01. Very high PLA muck. A Chinese general talking to Nicolaus is in good news. Whatever he's going to say when that conversation resumes just became our highest priority. Stay with him. Try to get invisible. Anyone so much as sees you when the mission's over. Not 
the only ones I'm worried about eavesdropping. They are just the most typical. Of course. How many times will the signal be rerouted? You also believe your Koda Peninsula base untraceable. I understand the psychology of war. Yes, yes. I've attended many executions, but never a miracle. So hold on a second. Driver, how far away is Luko for me? Ten minutes, maybe more. But we'll have to stand a police check along the way. No, it's not worth the trouble. I will just walk the broadcast like anyone else. <laughs> yes, too true. <laughs> you are a wicked man, Mr. Nibolan. I hope your performance goes well. Take care. They're going to execute the soldiers. Sounds like it. You've got to stop them. Rendezvous with Cole. I'll forward her the coordinates for me. No tell, Bob. Right. Auspicious hunting. Damn straight. Time for something is past. I need to get this to the joint ships. Keep this one in the wall. We gotta go. Grab hold of something. Though the evidence itself has not been revealed, U.S. intelligence is claiming to have proof of China manufacturing nuclear weapons, a blatant infraction of international treaties. China has made an unmitigated denial of the charges, restating the belief that... Diplomatic talks with China continue to crumble. U.S. military forces are mobilizing towards the anticipation of possible hostilities. China again denies any involvement in Combein Nikolaz's... Oh, my God. Broadcast through the Internet just minutes ago. Cannot allow my nation to be subjected to the blatant international despotism of the United States or the cronyism of its allies. The world is not yours alone. And the soldiers you send into it are all equally guilty of American fascism. At 5.30 p.m. Greenwich Standard Time, the United States soldiers captured in a just war against their motherland will be executed. Their deaths broadcast for the world to watch. Fisher, we're getting close to war. If Nicolaz kills these men on live broadcast, we're sunk. Are we worrying about the broadcast or the murders? For now, the broadcast. The bias time to stop the killings. Nicolaz is broadcasting from an antenna on the roof. First objective. You'll find the rest on your offside. Copy that. Over. Carol, this is Baldwin. The landmines are in place. Make sure nobody without the polarized thermal sensor enters the courtyard. There's something on the roof. Should we check it out? I want all identifying details stricken from the room. Keep the lights off of the walls. Give them four eye lights. We need to clearly see their faces when they die. Where's our sound man? Make sure we're close enough to hear prayers. What the hell just happened? The broadcast antenna is down. We've got no outgoing signal. We are under attack. The Americans are here. They've taken out the broadcast antenna. Get Nikolaus out of here. I want his helicopter airborne now. I want a squad of technicians with an armed escort on the roof and repairing that antenna. I want the Americans found and killed. Yes, sir. Sounds like you shook things up pretty well. But it's only going to buy us a few minutes. Find those soldiers, Fisher. Gringo, this is Nikolaj. Kill the American soldiers. Take them to the studio and kill them. We'll release the footage whenever we can. Tell Theron we are moving ahead. I'll retrieve the Ark. This is Gringo. I want the American soldiers prepped and in studio. The executions are going forward as planned.
about the broadcast. It's not our place to question. Let's go. You are American. You're Chinese. The PRC ambassador to Myanmar. I must speak with a representative of your government. They hear everything I do. Shoot. Kong Furong does not represent the will of China. He is a splinter faction of the Chinese army. All of them fanatics and fools. What does he want? First, Taiwan, with others to follow. Gifts to the PRC he thinks they will not be able to refuse. How is Nicolads involved? Trade. Farong provides transport and munitions in exchange for weapons-grade nuclear waste. Does China know? No. And unless they are issued proof of Farong's activities, I fear the certainty of war. What's the proof? On the computer in his office. My office. He has overridden and reset the lock. I force him to open his computer and forward the contents to the PRC. And our countries don't go to war. Such is my hope. Right. Since the unexplained interruption of the webcast executions, no information of the captured American soldiers has surfaced. Has instated a complete media blackout regarding diplomatic negotiations between the U.S. and China. Authorities warn of the very real possibility of Georgian mercenaries releasing falsified news reports. The possibility that China was in any way involved in the still unconfirmed execution of American soldiers. In the hope that the crisis can be averted before leading to world war. We'll make this fast, Fisher. We need proof that Farong represents a splinter faction opposed to the Chinese government. Am I still on leash inside the embassy? Not at all. You're fully authorized to use lethal force. Fifth freedom with everybody, except for Ong. We can't risk killing him until we've got proof. We're done with politics. This is war. This is as close as we get. Lambert's worried about spooking for Ong. We'll make it work. Do good, Agent. I don't want to go to war. What if it detonates on the way? The Colonel told me that's impossible. Why? Everything's in place. But it's not armed. It's actually a very delicate machine. It's still possible. Quiet, just eat your food. We have to be ready to go in a few minutes. Fisher, you're going to have a whole mess of keypad locked doors to get around. And we won't be able to count on captured intelligence for the codes. You'll need to improvise. We've got an idea for the keypad locked doors. Go ahead, Grim. The average temperature of the embassy might be cool enough that you can sense a heat difference on the keypad. It's worth a try. These doors are our only way forward. Karana, we've wiped the last of the data speed. We're moving on to hard drive. It's 
in a thousand pieces. They can retrieve data from the fragments. The drives must be wiped and broken. Yes, sir. How does it look? I don't know how much of this we can use. They've wiped clean most of... Lambert, take a look. Oh, dang. We just found the missing Americium-239. Back in a second, Fisher. New objective, Fisher. There's a convoy of trucks in a warehouse on the embassy grounds. You need to make sure they never leave. I know you're not equipped with enough explosives, but... But anything with a full tank of gas is a bomb waiting for a fuse. Do I need to worry about radiation? The components aren't assembled. It won't trigger anything nuclear. This is Gompero. Relay condition red to all troops. Repeat, condition red. Nikolaj has abandoned us. All men to full alert. I want that convoy ready to move. Thank you, you're welcome. aren't going anywhere. Now the general. Right. We think he and his computer both are in the ambassador's office. You'll need Farong alive to access his data. Gua! I need help! The general is trying to kill himself! Where are you? His office! Hurry!
I'm going to shoot myself. Not in the face. <laughs> you are American. You are the cause of all my sorrows, yes? Perhaps you will do me the favor of killing me. I'm going to unlock the data in your computer, and you're going to help me. Go to hell! You can't force a dead man into anything! You're not dead yet. The rest of your life is all you've got, and how painful that is depends on your cooperation. My life was suffering long before you got here. Do your worst! <laughs> Will do. Where did Nicolas run to? I don't know. I don't care! You owe the man no loyalty. He fled. He betrayed you. I hope you find and kill him. But I do not know where he is. Kill me, American. Do us both a favor. Fantastic work, Fisher. I see more suicides on this job. Grim, how does the data look? Solid. This completely separates Ferron from the Chinese government. Fantastic. Get the relevant stuff to the Joint Chiefs. We'll forward the same to China through the CIA. Fisher, we're done in Myanmar. Meet Cohen and get the hell out of there. we talked about the Ark. What is it? What Nicolades wants most in the world and what we're going to catch him by. That's all we know. We know the Ark is hidden somewhere inside the Georgian presidential palace, and we know Varlam Kristavi is letting him take it. Who's Kristavi? The new president of Georgia, pushed into power by our friends at the CIA. It doesn't make sense. We'll do the thinking. Your primary mission in Georgia will be Nicolades. We get him and the game's over. The good guys win. Were you talking to Lambert? Yeah. How soon before we touch down in Georgia? We don't. You'll be making a halo jump. Good. Dad, is that you? Sarah, it's good to hear your voice. Are you coming home? The TV said you guys beat Nicolas. It's not that simple. So you're not coming home? No, honey, not yet. But soon. A collective sigh of relief as the U.S. returned to a state of amicable diplomacy with China. The swift action of the CIA and Chinese intelligence revealed a splinter faction of the Chinese military covertly supporting the Georgian information crisis, declaring a national day of mourning for those lost in the Georgian information crisis. Confirms the consummate defeat of Kambayn Nikolaj's cyber warriors. The acts of information terrorism have come to an end. And in a ceremony later today, President Bowers will be issuing an official thanks to the CIA, FBI, and U.S. Special Forces for their role in bringing an end to the crisis. Though his whereabouts are still unknown, Combain Nicolades is essentially powerless. We have torn off the scorpion's claws. We have severed his tail. And he cannot stay hidden for long. Welcome back to Georgia, Fisher. Our cleanest path to the Ark is President Kristavi's records. Details on your offset. What if Kristavi gets in my way? Don't touch him. He's copacetic with the CIA. If Kristavi dies, the mission's over. Those aren't palace guards. Some kind of special forces. Georgian elite. Probably Kristavi's men. Which would suggest... <laughs> be much friendlier than Nicolas. You're authorized for lethal force. I hate 
this kind of thing. What do you have? Interrogation, torture, and... Oh, Christ! What? The Ark is a Sato. A what? A special atomic demolition munition. You mean a nuclear suitcase bomb? Yeah. I'll get back to you. The Ark is the mission, Fisher. Get it. It's in a safe inside a vault in the library. Locked by scanner to Nikolaids' retina. So I'm going to need Nikolaids alive to get the Ark. That's right. We've reached the library. Nikolaids is inside. Everybody at alert. We are retrieving the Ark. Be ready to get out of here. American commando. Get Nikolaj into the vault, keep his head down until we take care of this. Get you nowhere. What are you going to do with it? With what? The Ark. Where are you going to detonate it? Kill me or let me go. What you're doing now is hopeless. Tell me about the Ark. This is puerile. I'll say no more. Nobody move. Hands in the air. Nobody move. Nobody move. Come by Nikolai. And who's your friend? An American? Yes, you. You will give us the Ark. I am not God. You will give us the Ark. I honestly don't know what you are speaking of. Kristavi knows it is a nuclear suitcase, Bob. And he knows you have it. Clever man. Does he know that it is already in America? What? The Ark is not here. Keep talking. The only thing in this vault is the activation. The bomb itself is in America. If Christophe guarantees my freedom, I'll tell you where to find the Ark. Give us the activation key. This spy has the key, this American. We'll have to take it from him. I can give you the location, but only on the condition of my safety and freedom. Agreed. You two, escort Mr. Nicholas out of the library. You. Who are you? Don't talk, Fisher. We're arranging for a blackout in five seconds. Make the most of it. Give us the key to the Ark. You can hand it to me, or I can take it from your corpse. You have five seconds to decide. Four seconds. Three, two... with that information. An intruder, an American, a spy is loose in the building. All troops to full alert.
Let me be as clear as possible. Snipe me the lads from there. Do it now. Don't miss. You probably won't get a second chance. Sharp work, man. It's time to get scared. Data you're carrying is the last one. Nicolas is threat against the U.S. Highest priority right now is keeping what you're carrying out of enemy hands. The Osprey is waiting. Nothing in the pallet. I need all men. But they both multiple shooters. Direct order from President Kristavi. Find the assassin. Don't let the shooter leave the pallet. Lethal force. The assassin is top priority. Nicolas! Who's copying Nicolas? Unconfirmed report that Nicolas has been shot. Nicolas is dead. Repeat, Nicolas is down. Find the assassin. All through to full sweep for the American spy. He must be captured or killed at any cost. An eight-story apartment building and surrounding four blocks in Hopegate, Maryland, were evacuated today by the National Guard. Authorities cited a gas leak as the reason for the evacuation, stressing that today's events had no relation whatsoever to Combane Nicolats or the Georgian information crisis. Hopegate, less than half an hour from downtown Washington, D.C., will... Since the recovery and confirmed identity of President Combane Nicolats's corpse five days ago, Palace guards fatally shot President Nicolás in the midst of what appears to have been an attempted ousting of acting President Varlam Kristavi. In a press conference this morning, U.S. President Bowers lauded the American people for their courage. We were injured, we stumbled, but we did not fall. The world knows no hardship or terror that American tenacity cannot overcome. The world knows no problem that American ingenuity cannot solve. <laughs> and so Dad, I extend my so deepest funny? admiration to every U.S. citizen of the world, to every civilian and every soldier standing firm against the terror and tyrannies of wicked men. History will not forget your resolve. <laughs> History will not forget your resolve. Dad, what's going on? You haven't laughed since the Reagan administration. <laughs> it's nothing. Forget about it. We have kept the bright flame the of American line, honey. freedom burning me. throughout oh. the world. May God clear our vision and strengthen our minds for the work to come. And may God bless America. You're not leaving again, are you, Dad? Hello, Rambert. <laughs>